In this video, I will show you how to fix if you are trying to download Valorant or if you're trying to download an update and it's simply freezing or just staying stuck. And if this video does help you out today, please consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like on the video and also consider subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So as you can see, I'm here on my desktop. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the Riot client like so, and you'll see I've currently got this setup running. So I'm just going to click on to update and what's going to happen, it's going to start updating. And then sometimes if there's an error, you're going to get a message like this, where it says something unusual has happened. We suggest retrying or restarting and voice contact our player support team. So what we're going to do is look into a couple of things you can try to actually fix this and go ahead and get this updated if you're having any problems or if you're just trying to download and install Valorant and you're getting some kind of error message. So the first thing you're going to want to try is actually to come out of Riot Client and what you want to do is just basically open this in administrator mode. So what you can do is right click if it's on your desktop, if it's not down there then just come down to the search bar down here, go ahead and type Riot and on the Riot Client what you want to do is right click and then click on to run as administrator. So what's going to happen is just going to give a quick security prompt which you select yes to and after a second or two it's going to load up the Riot client like so. Then what you need to do is just go ahead and log into your account. So once you're logged in what you then want to do is come to the full squares at the top, give that a click to come to the game section, click on Valorant and then you can go ahead and either install or update again. And you just want to see if that fixes the issue. Sometimes this does fix the issue but not all the time. So as you can see, we're still getting this error message. So what the next thing to do would be, would be to actually restart your computer. So to do that, what you want to do is just come down to the start menu, click onto the power button and just go ahead and restart your computer. Once you've actually restarted your computer, again, just go ahead and open up the right client, but make sure again, you run this as administrator just by right clicking and then clicking on to run as administrator. So again, once you've done that, what you want to do is just wait for this to load up and then sign into your Riot client account again and go ahead and see if it will work. So if you have tried that and you're still getting an error message, then there's actually two more things you can try. Now, the first thing I would recommend at this point is just to check that there's no problems with the actual Valorant service. And you can do this by simply opening up an internet browser. And once you've opened up an internet browser, what you then want to do is just come across to Google and you just want to type a website called Down Detector. This is the best one. There are other ones as well, but you get Down Detector is the best one to look for. And then you want to put Riot and also Valorant. And what's going to happen, you see it says here Down Detector. Now this is for League of Legends. So what we're going to do is just change that to Valorant. And then hit enter and you'll see at the top we got down detector valorant down so if we go ahead and give this a click you're going to see all the problems in the past 24 hours that have been reported so if there is any sort of maintenance work being done on the server or if there's any problems at all with the valorant servers it's going to show up here you can see for example that within the past 24 hours all these little spikes here are just outages where the servers there's been basically problems so that could also affect it and also what you want to do is check on the social media related pages so like Facebook and Twitter just to see if Valorant or the Riot pages have reported any sort of outages or problems with their servers. So if you've given that a try and you can see there's no outages, if there are outages what you would have to do is just wait a bit and just keep an eye on this page and on the social media pages until they update say that the servers are back up and running successfully. So if there's no problems with these servers, then there's one last thing you can try, which is to actually try and repair Valorant. So what you want to do is open up the Riot Launcher, and what I'm going to do is just come back to the home page. So you want to click the full squares up here, and then if you come up to the top right-hand corner, you want to click onto your profile icon and come down and click onto settings. Now from here, if you look to the left-hand side, you're going to see the game Valorant. So what you want to do is go ahead and give that a click. And I've not got this installed on here at the moment, but once you have got it installed, you should actually see once you click on Valorant, a button which you can click, which says repair. And what it's going to do is perform a repair on the Valorant game. So if there's any sort of glitches or issues, which might have maybe happened during the installation or an update, what it's going to do is run through and make a repair on those. So I hope these tips helped you out and I hope this video did help you out today. If it did, as I said, really appreciate it. If you were to drop down below the video, leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.